aerospace the final frontier is a matter in which self reliance is the need of the hour in order to meet the challenges india has to find answers within its own backyard csir nail has taken up the initiative long back and is actively involved in developing technologies to support the aerospace demands originally started as national aeronautical research laboratory in 1959 It was rechristened as National Aeronautical Laboratory in 1960 and was again renamed as National Aerospace Laboratories in 1993 to reflect its growing involvement in Indian space programs, multidisciplinary activities and global positioning. The first director Dr. P Nilakanthan initiated the construction of the 1.2 meter trisonic wind tunnel. Taking charge as the second director Dr. S R Valluri built on the strong foundation created by Dr Nilakanthan to transform NAL into a potent and esteemed force in Indian aeronautics the first blow down was conducted on May 29th 1967 even after more than 50000 blow downs the tunnel is still the workhorse of every indian aerospace vehicle like missiles fighter aircraft civil aircraft launch vehicles satellites and so on In 1970s a full scale fatigue test facility was developed for testing the fatigue life of aircraft this facility has been used to extend the life of MiG-21 aircraft with strengthened failure analysis and accident investigation techniques investigations ranged from design generator to an insignificant bolt material science division at NAL is a pioneer in accident investigations and more than 1600 investigations have been carried out so far during professor narsimha's tenure india's first parallel computer named flow solver for cfd applications was built at nal in 1986 cfd is now matured and store separation simulations can be carried out around 1983 nal designed and built an acoustic test facility for isro for testing satellites and launch vehicle stages multiple tests have been performed for several indian space programs The number of unique structural testing facilities like vibration, aeroelasticity and impact testing have been developed. CSIR NAL ushered the era of civil aircraft development in the country. LCRA was built and made its maiden flight in February 1987. Building on this, development of all composite two seat Hansa was started in 1991 and the maiden flight took place in February 1993. Design and development of avionics hardware and software towards the civil aircraft programs was also initiated. Dr. K N Raju led the national team for the LCA composite wing. NAL played a leading role in the development of composites technology for the LCA program and has provided in-house technologies and solutions for the design and development of composite structure for military and civil aircrafts including LCA Tejas project. NAL has also taken up challenge to productionize the co-cured and co-bonded technologies through public private partnership with industries. Dr. T S Prahlad led the SARS program which NAL took up after a great deal of deliberation. There was a feeling that civil aircraft development was an area the country had neglected. So a mandate was given by the research council chaired by Professor Satish Dhawan that NAL should very seriously look into small aircraft design and development. That is how the concept of SARS was born. The experience gained was used to design and build two flying prototypes. About 600 to 700 people from many agencies like HAL, DRDO, Indian Air Force and other CSIR labs contributed wholeheartedly at different work centers. Dr. B R Pai continued the civil aviation programs and also supported innovative R&D projects like Wankel engine as an enthusiastic pilot he promoted aviation activities like powered hang gliding dr ar upadhyay encouraged the development of technologies like autoclaves where nal now has the capability to manufacture large computer controlled autoclaves and associated subsystems emphasis was given to the societal missions with the development of wind solar hybrid systems for renewable energy and large radars for weather radars shri sham chetty led the national control law team that designed and developed complex control laws for lca the control laws were tested and evaluated 
at Engineer in the Loop Simulator built by Enel. CNM5 aircraft developed with Mahindra flew successfully in 2011. Apart from this, NAL also focused on the development of unmanned and micro-aerial vehicles in a major way. Under the able leadership of Shri J.J. Jadav, the SARS program was revived. Dedicated efforts put in by the team SARS, who worked day and night on a war footing, made the test flights of SARS PT-1N successful. Timely and coordinated support from the agencies like SEMILAC, DGAQA and AST made it possible to carry out 24 flights in the recently concluded Aero India 2019. AST of Indian Air Force has given full support to the SARS program. I am Nabi Uchalo Badnav. This is also better than the old design. NAL is a designer. He has done many improvements in this. Air Force जो है fully committed है इसकी testing करने में जितनी जल्दी हो सके so that ये plane NAL has taken a challenging task for integrating advanced missiles and smart weapons onto Mirage 2000 along with HAL and successfully completed FOC for Indian Air Force. Hansa modified with glass cockpit approved by DGCA flew in Aero India 2019. NAL developed carbon fiber technology, a high strength and low weight material is used extensively in strategic and societal applications. NAL has also developed some unique technologies like stall warning system to alert the pilot about an impending stall, Abhyas, an electronic target training system for Indian armed forces, Drishti transmitometer for better visibility to pilots at the airport runway. Environment-friendly chromic acid-free anodization process has been developed and accorded with Semilac certification. A state-of-the-art facility for fabrication of GMR-based sensors is established and a variety of sensors like speed sensor, pressure sensor, displacement sensor and proximity sensor have been developed. For the future, Enel has initiated work on SARS Mark II, a 19-seater aircraft. In principle, approval from the competent authority has been obtained for its development and certification. Action has also been initiated towards detailed feasibility studies on the 70 to 90 seater regional transport aircraft. As NAL takes on these major programs, it is also increasing its interactions and collaborations with line ministries, R&D organizations, private industries, public sectors, as well as academia. About a dozen transfer of technology agreements with industrial partners have been successfully completed in the past couple of years. With such initiatives, NAL is moving towards self-sufficiency. Various events, exhibitions and activities have been organized for not only researchers but also students and common people. All the technical activities are possible because of the excellent support provided by administration, finance and accounts, stores and purchase and other support divisions like ASISD, Estates and Buildings, Electrical, Security, Housekeeping, KTMD, Director Office, etc. As we look back at 60 years, Team CSAR NA salutes our leaders, the Director Generals of CSAR and the Directors of NA who have guided us in our past endeavors and will continue to guide us.